Hello students, today I am going to take lecture of Advanced Java Unit 5 Java Server Faces. Initializing this video with the first topic Introduction to Prime Faces. So Prime Faces is JSF library. Prime Faces is a lightweight library with one jar, zero configuration and no required dependency. To use JSF Prime Faces library, we need to use following code. For example, when we were including HTML and Cortex, we also including library with colon n and colon c. So here for same prime faces library, we need to include xml ns colon p equal to http colon double slash prime faces dot org slash ui. Advantage of using prime faces first is prime faces library is having features like simplicity and good performance comparatively. So prime faces is a lightweight library and all decision are made based on keeping prime face as like as possible with reference to user interface components. Usually, adding a third party solution could bring an overhead to overall project. However, this is not the case with prime face as it manage everything by itself. It is just one single jar file with a no dependency and nothing to configure. So it is very simple to use and giving efficient performance compared to other library. So this is first advantage of prime faces library that it is simple and having better performance. Second advantage, ease of use. Components in prime face are developed with design principle which state that a good UI component should hide the complexity but keep its flexibility. It is easily to interfere with user as well as it should be flexible enough. For example, we can also use custom based library. A developer can create a custom based library so it should be flexible. So a good UI component should hide the complexity but it should keep flexibility. Next is strong community feedback. This is the most important point for Prime Faces library. Prime Faces community continuously help the development of Prime Faces by providing feedback, new ideas, bug reports, patches, etc. So this is third advantage, strong community feedback. This is the list of JSF Prime Faces provides following collection of tag p colon input text which is very similar p colon input text which is very similar to input text of html tag then p colon input secret for password p colon command button for submit button p colon command link for anchor tag p colon it also support ajax so p colon ajax script p colon for bar chart bar chart was not available with core tag libraries so it is available but it is available with prime faces tag. So it's an advantage with the help of prime faces library. One can also create bar chart, p colon calendar, p colon color picker, which is again not available with basic tags. Then p colon for dialog box, p colon file upload. So one can upload the file or download the file with the help of p colon file download. In this section, I'm going to just introduce you all the prime faces tags. With this, we complete prime faces library introduction. Next topic is JSF event handling. When a user clicks a JSF button or a link or changes any value inside the text of JSF UI component, when it fires event which will be handled by an application code. So that is the part of JSF event handling. For example, a click event of certain button or a click event of checkboxes or radio button should change the color. This part of code is handled by JSF event handling. To handle such event, event handler are to be registered in the application code or in the manage bin. So if you are using any event handler, it should be registered within its application code or it should be mentioned within managed bin. When UI component checks that a user event had happened, it creates an instance of corresponding event because every request is handled by a thread. So corresponding event class and add it to its event list. These are the example of certain event handlers. For example, first is a value change a listener. If any event had happened, it should be listened by any listener. So this is list of listener, value changed listener. Value change event get fired when user make changes to its input component. For example, if password is of only eight character and it should include some special character, capital letter, etc. 
So, value change listener. It explains that value change events get fired when user make any changes to its input component. For example, if I have designed any uh, component window where I should input a color and the component color changes automatically. If I am changing the default color blue to red, then value change listener will get triggered and accordingly with the help of JSF event handling, it will change the color of component accordingly. Next listener is action listener. Action event get fired when user click on a button or a link component. So for example, if user click on a submit button, it should switch over to next page or any other component or if user clicks on an anchor tag, it should switch over to a particular link. So this is handled by action listener. Third is application event. Event firing during JSF lifecycle, for example, post construct application event or p destroy application event or pre render view event. These are the examples of overall application events. With this, I complete introduction to JSF event handling. Next is JSF expression language. JSF provides rich expression language. It is very similar to JSP expression language. Notation is hash, sign, curly bracket and expression. For example, if I am writing hash i equal to 10, then output would be 10. If I am writing 10 is greater than 9, output would be true and reverse is false. And hash, user card dot add, it will call add method of user card. Next is introduction to JSF validator tag. JSF has built in validator to validate its UI component. First is validate length. The name itself explain. This tag will validate the length. For example, if we have kept password length as 8, then if user entered password of 10 character, then f.validate length will invalidate particular UI component. Then f colon validate long range for validation of range of numeric value. f colon validate double range for validating float value. Then F colon validate regex, validate JSF component with given regular expressions. Next is custom validator. We can even create our own validator with the help of JSF validator tags library. With this, I complete prime faces library, JSF expression language, JSF event handling and JSF validator tags. And with this video, I complete unit number 5. Thank you all of you.